Okay, everyone. Uh, we are starting our new session uh, about the talent hunt and talent acquisition in the blockchain industry, uh, which is a huge demand industry in, in coming months and years. Uh, with me uh, is Anthony. We uh, had uh, two speakers in this session. Uh, unfortunately, our second speaker had uh, unforeseen circumstances and was unable to join. So uh, I'm uh, passing on the, the floor to Anthony to start with. Anthony, uh, to you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Anthony Alvansis. I'm the founder of Blockchain Montana. We are a leading blockchain focused talent acquisition company. Um, put together a brief presentation covering some key points around uh, skill demand and com companies and countries that we feel are kind of leading the way in trying to bridge that uh, talent gap that we're seeing at the moment in tech and uh, even more significantly in the blockchain space. So, um, according to LinkedIn, they released uh, findings recently. They found that in 2020, blockchain was the number one most in-demand skill. Um, interestingly enough, in 2019, it didn't even make the list of top 10. So the, the, the demand for blockchain is huge and it's growing um, continuously. It was also ranked as the number one in-demand skill in the US, United Kingdom, France, Germany, and Australia. So uh, as you can see, it's uh, extremely, extremely in-demand. And within blockchain, we broke down the most in-demand roles within blockchain. And surprisingly, you will find that uh, software engineering is the most in-demand. Second to marketing, operations, finance, and then a mixture of other roles. Um, We've uh, listed here the top countries that are leading the way in blockchain technology and um, which ones are really pushing the most. Um, so we're finding uh, Australia, they've got a very uh, preferential tax, um, sorry, that my presentation's just gone, give me one sec. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we've got Australia, China, Switzerland, they're well known for their blockchain hub, especially in Zug. Estonia, Singapore, um, the UK, a lot of university hubs now popping up, uh, J Japan, you know, uh, Dubai, they're really pushing to become the first blockchain city, uh, the US and Australia. Which the universities for blockchain education currently? We have the New York University, Stanford University. University of Nicosia, interestingly enough, was one of the pioneers um, first to offer master level education within blockchain and digital currencies. We've also got uh, Princeton University, B9 Labs, University of California, and University of Cumbria. Currently, According to our research, these are the companies that are recruiting the most for blockchain skills. Um, and we've got Coinbase, Amazon, Kraken, Consensus, Chainlink Labs, Ripple, Parity Technology. Some of the industry needs to come together and major companies and governments need to sponsor blockchain education to accelerate adoption. Um, a couple of examples of companies doing this is Ripple. They partnered with 37 universities across 15 countries. Um, and Parity Technologies, they're the developers behind Polkadot and Kusama, and they've partnered recently with UC Berkeley to bolster, bolster the blockchain curriculum. <clears throat> One thing that I have found, and we are starting to see a lot at the moment, is uh, blue chip companies um, and enterprise blockchain companies are starting to lose uh, key talent to startups and particularly those within DeFi and NFT space. Um, and, the, and the reason this is happening, we're finding is that, that these uh, talented developers, for example, are really attracted to the, the mission that these startups are bringing, which is changing the old way of business and changing the old way of finance. And that's proving very, very attractive to them. And uh, and another thing is they are actually um, offering token allocation as part of the package. And that's something that's proven very, very financially valuable, token allocation. Um, and to wrap it up, I mean, I'd really say is tech talent. There's always going to be a struggle 
um, and those companies that embrace flexible working, focus on the mission and build on education will come out on top. Uh, I'll open to any questions. Uh, good. It's interesting to see New York University is on the top and University of Cumbria in UK in, in the bottom. We don't see uh, any large universities, uh, let's say, from London, from Birmingham, from Manchester taking the lead. Instead, it is the Cumbria. Yeah. What's the reason when there, there are plenty of resources in London, uh, we don't see, and the government is based in London, we don't yeah. see a lot of interest in there. I think that's starting to change now. Um, I, I feel some of the smaller universities embrace this um, as a as a way to bring something new to their offering. Um, and they probably saw someone like the University of Nicosia did really, really well out of this course. Um, so they saw that as an opportunity. And also I imagine larger universities have a slower process to accept a new course. Um, but they, we are finding that is changing now um, and they are, all starting to realize the demand is there and more and more students are wanting this uh, this blockchain as a as an opportunity to study excellent and in addition i think we we also have our platform uh, which is called cap for our audience mm -hmm. uh, this platform also connects the the, the industry with the researchers Right. Uh, and it gives the researchers an opportunity for better better job hunt uh, and better future opportunities. And this CAB platform is, is a neutral platform and it, it networks 24-7 for, for free. Mm. So that platform could also be used uh, as a talent hunt, as an, an opportunity to network and find uh, better uh, jobs in the future, especially for youngsters. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. There's a lot of companies that are recruiting for smart PhD researchers. Um, there's a very, very big demand for PhD researchers with cryptography background, um, which, which is obviously a huge demand in the, moment in the blockchain space. So um, students uh, from kind of maths, computer science, and cryptography um, would find that they would be snapped up very, very quickly. Um, from leading blockchain companies and again that's almost one of those skills that we are struggling to find um, and one that we would we would be able to offer students uh, placement straight away with a number of our clients if they have cryptography in particular that's a, that's a huge demand at the moment excellent excellent uh, thank you very much anthony uh, as our second speaker uh, unfortunately couldn't attend we we have to end our session here no and thank you very much for your talk Thank you, Dr. Nassim. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.